Oh, all right. All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Ready, Set, Blow podcast, episode 348. Rate, review, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you, if I'm going to leave the YouTube stuff in, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Even if you don't fucking watch this on YouTube, just subscribe. It helps me. Uh, here today, back for International Women's Days when we're recording this. And, of course... I had to have the biggest feminist I know on, Jeff Zenesek. Uh, thank you. I, thank you. A round of I applause. I am the leader of women, so yes. <laughs> we were just talking about two woke boys. You're doing the men on the street stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do done. you guys do a lot of preparation for that? Not really. Like, do you have like a list of questions that you're gonna uh, gonna go with and just no. kind of roll? <laughs> well, the thing with man on the street stuff, it's like pretty hard because like most people don't want to engage, engage with at you at all. Yeah. Like, it's like get this guy the fuck out of here. You know. So. Um, really, even down like the Venice boardwalk, I feel like those it, fucking monsters will gladly get on the, you know. Yeah, but I don't know. There's like. I bet in New York you get punched a lot. Probably. People do a man on the street out there have to worry about physical violence. Yeah. I mean, you can get that here too. Yeah, with the homeless. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure I can take most people in LA. Yeah. Sh short of anyone who's done any of the MMA training, which is every comic in town. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a prerequisite to do comedy in LA. You got to fucking sign up for Brazilian uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We did have um, a uh, a homeless situation with one of our man in the street videos. Never aired, but um, what happened? You guys end up jerking him off? No. So it was a lady. Even better. Yeah. So we were she walking. Jerked you guys off. We were we were <laughs> we were finishing. We finished shooting. So we were like done, right? But we're like wearing our like futures female shirts and yeah. dressed in our two woke boys garb or whatever and we're walking down the street and then you know we got two people with cameras with us and they're just you know walking with them on their sides and then this uh lady goes whoa whoa, whoa hey 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 you you want to film me and of we course. were like okay and she was like yeah you want to film me and we were like well, let's we kick, it could be gold yeah we were like, looked at the camera guys we were like yeah like roll it like let's go and we were like, you got something to say? And she was like, yeah, I got something to say. Get the cameras rolling. You guys rolling? And then we were like, yeah. So here we are with this lady. And she goes, bam, and flashes. Oh, nice. <laughs> homeless, homeless, you cancel from YouTube. Homeless, homeless boobs. What were they like? I bet they were real was, salty uh, and cracked. It was, we, it was like staring at the sun. You don't want to look at it. <laughs> you know? Turned away pretty quick. <laughs> like the like fucking two The cameraman two, even two did it too. Everyone went, Ugh. <laughs> Everyone dove away. <laughs> There's a great question. How much would someone have to pay you to hook up, hook up with a homeless lady? Um, let's just say, let's just say she's the same age as you. Okay, wait. How been homeless? homeless for 10 years, so she had oh, full street funk on her. Okay, yeah. I don't know, dude. That's a tough one. Really? I mean, I would, I would do a newly homeless chick. You know? I think every I think everyone would do a like, newly, newly homeless. homeless like that's was, every that's every woman looking for a husband. I mean, <laughs> well, okay, so it was like okay, she here's homeless lady I would hook up with was dating NBA star. Okay, fresh kicked got, out of the house. She got kicked out. Okay. and needs a place to stay. Yeah, so a woman that would never have to have sex with you for any reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but well, then she would. Yeah, in her most desperate she moment, she needs a place to stay. Dude, how long do you think you could survive as a homeless man? Uh, zero seconds. Really? Yeah, dude. I'm you not, don't think you could do a couple weeks dude, out in the street? No. I fucking hate all that shit. I hate camping. Really? I hate roughing it. Really? Yeah. I like air conditioning. I mean, I love air conditioning, but, you know. Yeah, uh, shitting in a toilet. That's, that's prime. You know, all, I hate. You don't like camping? No. Well, fuck, then we're going to include you on the mushroom camping is camping like trips. pretending to be homeless. That's why I don't like it. No, I mean, not the way I do it. Like, I'm fucking camping. Your costs thousands of dollars. <laughs> okay. okay but here, here's the I got a bunch of Patagonia shit. Here's the camping I like. We, we rent a sick cabin that costs more than a hotel. <laughs> not camping, but okay. And then it's got fucking super fast Wi-Fi, and I'm bringing my PlayStation. <laughs> and I'm never going outside. I will look out the window every now and then and go... Nice. So you've never done, you don't do any hiking, no skiing, no none of that? I'll thing? hike. Okay. But it's like LA hikes. I park my car oh, in the parking okay. you, lot. Yeah, you hike with I a peach hike. coffee in your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're out on Fryman with I a have, goddamn, yeah, like, yeah. I have a latte that is still hot when I finish my hike. Yeah, you're hiking in jeans. And then I get another <laughs> latte. Yeah, and at the peak of the mountain, I get like 19 photos and I go, hike, bro. 
Okay, all right. Yeah. I'm a you, got, you do it for the gram. Yeah, I do it for the gram. That's what I do. I get. I push people out of the way. I'm like, hey, watch out. You're in my shot. I used to joke about that, like, like with women. Uh, you know, now that it's Women's Day, and we can go ahead and trash them. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, I used to joke like, uh, women are like that at the gym, dude. Oh yeah. They do. Like, I call it the basic bitch routine. It's like seven minutes on the stair climber, yeah, and then 53 minutes of you know very flattering photos mm -hmm. in favorable gym lighting in the big gym mirrors. Yeah, you and, then they, and then they get a smoothie. Yeah, they yeah. do one rep. Yeah. <laughs> They do one rep, but yeah. that one rep is on, on Instagram. The video. Yeah. Yeah. And it's them doing squats. Yeah, yeah. Hack squats with the camera right up their ass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I will help them film. <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my volunteer. I go, I'm, I'm going to film. And they're like, can you use my phone? I'm like, no. Yeah. I, what I'm I do is I, I like phone. to clean the, the bike seats after a soul cycle class, you know, yeah. really get a good whiff of, the, of their no, musk. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Yeah. And then the soul cycle is like, you don't work here. You know, we, you please leave our soul. I'm licking bike seats, but yeah. one by one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you don't even have a membership at Soul Cycle. What are you Who doing are here, you? Guy? Why are you in here? Yeah. <laughs> That's fun, dude. So, what do you do for International Women's Day? You guys releasing some Two Oak Boys videos? Uh, yeah, I'm editing clips. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to start a dialogue with women, you know? That's what I'm trying to do. You know? have, have any of them surprised you like when you're the man on the street stuff like oh that chick's actually pretty cool or they all yes. or they no, all no, take no. the bait no sometimes they're like they play along there was one girl in our man on the street video that like she was so down okay. for the like she she got it that we were like goofs you yeah know? and like played along like really well she did she had good improv skills basically did you and pick that, up you ever pick up a chick from doing this stuff no no, they, they don't. They don't like the beanies and the scarves. Yeah, I don't think they're into. It. I mean, you guys are two good-looking good -looking guys. I didn't know fucking Malcolm is jacked, and you're you know six foot seven. Yeah, those are two good-looking guys out there. So I, yeah. I, I figured they may, maybe you know take a pass at you. No, no, the scarves the really fuck it up. Is like ninety percent, man. Oh, I'm sure it's like almost all men. That's why when that lady that was here earlier was like asking about it, I was like, she would never I'm know. I'm like, I don't know if you should. Look it up. Well, they're both comedians, but that doesn't mean they're not women. It doesn't mean they don't hate it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't mean they're not women first. Yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like uh, my following, it's like 60, 40 women mm -hmm. to men, but most of like 90% of those women are single moms. Nice. Single moms seem to dig my shit. And I think it's, I think it's because they get angry at the younger girls that do the stuff. Mm -hmm. that annoys both you and I, like the, you know, the Instagram butthole shots, yeah. which I love, but I, what I don't love is that they get away so, with it while my, gets jo my jokes get censored. So MILFs, like, hate women. Yeah. yeah. I, they tend to be conservative women. Yeah. That, that, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's all men and conservative women that follow that, me, like, which is funny because I'm a liberal guy. I mean, that's, the, that's the misconception about women, too, is, like, they all hate each other. I think a lot of them hate each other. I was like saying that yesterday. Say, like, gotta, they say we got to support women, but then they don't want to support. Oh, they each never other do at all. They never do. Yeah. They try. I've said it before. That's why women go to the bathroom in groups because mm -hmm. they know if, if you know if there's five women and two of them left get, get left behind, they're talking shit about the other three that left. That's exactly right. If you're like if you're at a brunch, oh yeah, they're only talking about the one girl that didn't show up at the brunch. Yes. Well, yeah, what they're a bitch. Shitting on her. Yeah. What a bitch. What does she think she's she better than a us? Boyfriend. What a fucking <laughs> bitch. She thinks she's hot. She's got some dude now. Yeah. Meanwhile, men, men are the exact opposite. Men are the exact opposite. Like when men go out places, it's a free for all. Like we'll all go to the bar together mm -hmm. and then it's every man for himself. You have to find your own way home. Yeah. No one gives a shit if you go missing. Like no one, no. Like, there's no, there's no prayer circle opening up amongst their guy friends trying to find them. Jeff Zenesek. I don't even follow up with him the next day. No, not like probably, I, yeah. I might hear from him like a month later. I'm like, oh yeah. How did you ever go yeah. home that yeah. day? The only or? follow up is when someone shoots me a Venmo request for fucking all the drinks I took on <laughs> yeah. behind their back like yeah. on their credit card. Yeah. That's good. I like that. <laughs> That's a good move. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. International so. Women's Day. So what's your biggest beef with women, would you say? This is a top podcast. <laughs> I don't know if we should do this. Why not, man? It's my podcast, bro. <laughs> don't worry about this. <laughs> this is going to exist on my YouTube channel. Don't worry. All right, sure. Um, no, but I'm interested because we always, whenever you and I get together, it always turns into, you know, did you see what this chick did? Or mm -hmm. can you believe they got away with this again? And we're, and we're, we're supporting women. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, That's no, what we're, doing. We're, we're supporting. We're seeing like, can you believe this? What well, a girl boss. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm always surprised that women don't hold each other to the same standards that they hold them, like that they hold other people, like, but men, you know, like, 
Okay. Women can be really, like I said, we were talking about them going to the bathroom. They can be really catty and really mm -hmm. uh, manipulative and very you well, know, revengeful. They, yeah. But like, what what characteristic of theirs bothers you the most? Like, what's your p biggest pet peeve with chicks? Um, they are not honest. You know. I mean, yeah. I, mean, I was I was gonna I was you know. I had something similar. Like uh, my my big I'll, I'll start and make it easy. I'll fucking ruin okay. my career first. Uh, <laughs> My, 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 you know, fledgling career. When women want you to do something that you don't want to do, but they want you to want to do it. So oh, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. oh, let's go to my mother's house. It's like, oh, all right, I'll go. It's like, oh, what, you're not happy about going to see my mom? Mm. No, obviously, not. I'd rather be hanging out with my boys, but I love you, so I'll mm. go do the thing that you want to do because I love you. They don't, yeah. the love for you, like that being the reason you do something is not enough for women. They don't, they don't want you to do it because you love them. They want you to do it because you love them and because you want to. Yeah. It's like, it's like, the, like the first condition's not enough. I feel like I should get more credit for doing something I hate Look, because yeah. I love you. You know? I should get attendance points for going yes. to see your dumb mom. Exactly. Right? Like just because just I went there and I slept the whole time or I locked myself in the guest room playing a PlayStation 5. Yeah, the whole exactly. Time. That I was there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that counts. And when she said, "Do you want anything?" I said, "Like, give me like a fucking sandwich or something." <laughs> yeah, that, a Fanta lady. Yeah, go give me <laughs> Fanta. <laughs> Who drinks Fanta? <laughs> like the orange one? Oh, Diet Shasta orange. Okay. You can get the off the off market brand <laughs> Diet Where Shasta. Do you even get those, bro. You don't remember drinking Diet Shasta oranges when you were no. a kid? Oh, that's how you know Jeff Z grew up with fucking bread, dude. No, we, dude. The orange me? soda that, that came out of like the- a Mountain Dew kid, dude. Yeah, see, I mean, that's, that's still a brand. Shasta is hardly a brand. It's like RC Cola. Okay. You yeah, know, it's, like the, it's like, the, like the store brand shit. Yeah, yeah. We had the whole, the whole thing, dude. The <laughs> fucking the root beers, you know? You guys, like, had a, you guys have like a pantry, like a walk-in pantry but going my, on? My, like, I should not be alive. <laughs> okay, from the diet I had as a child, <laughs> or eat absolute garbage, like just trash, like everything microwave bullshit, all that stuff. Oh, so like how black athletes eat? Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> somehow, yes. they can eat McDonald's every day and Skittles, like dude, uh, that's what like I Marshawn Lynch, and somehow be jacked no matter what. That was me, dude. <laughs> I was on that diet. I was on nine piece nuggets and filet of fishes, dude. Filet of fish? Yeah. You won't have a diet Shasta orange, but you'll put a fucking filet of fish in your mouth? Well, first of all, McDonald's does not have diet Shasta. Okay. <laughs> they have Coke products. Yeah, true. So, you know, yeah. I would eat like Wendy's triples and shit like all the time. Oh my God. Well, I mean, that's the thing though. When you're young, you could get away with that. My go to when I was a kid was Taco Bell because for, for mm -hmm. five bucks, you could. You and your boy can eat good, dude. Thirty nine. I mean, the tacos were thirty nine cents back then. It's oh, a fucking dude. old am. I was stacking them up, dude. Taco Bell had this little quarter game. Yes, <clears throat> dude. I used to win that game all the time and get the free bean burrito. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it was weird. Time. Like, yeah, I would drop the coin in and like try and catch it in this yeah. little water. Like there was like a platform, and you're trying to like catch it before it sank. Yeah, and the water barely stopped a penny dude. from fucking rocketing to the ground. I learned uh, there was one. Uh, there was like a restaurant called Racks. Shout out Racks. All right, sounds yeah. like a titty bar. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I want to go to Racks tonight, maybe, dude. Maybe it was. <laughs> Um, but no, Racks, uh, I don't know if they're a restaurant anymore, but they were in uh, West Virginia where I grew up. And You grew uh, up in West Virginia and you guys classed it up and moved to Florida? Yeah. <laughs> but Jacksonville. It's like the Jeffersons moving on oh, down. Yeah. Jacksonville where uh, yeah, might as well Leonard Skinner was founded and Lint Biscuit. Oh, I mean, so, you know, true national heroes. Two great pants. <laughs> Well, Leonard Skinner for sure. Yeah, Limp well, Biscuit. I'm on. Limp Biscuit rules, dude. Are you kidding me? I, I mean, they had a moment. I'm not going to compare them to that Skinner. That moment was sick, dude. But you're going to compare them to Skinner? Yeah, they're cool. Skinner still holds up. Limp no, Biscuit shit sucks now. If you've no, listened to that, doesn't. no one's rocking dude, out to fucking stuff? Fred Durst. Are you shitting me? <laughs> break stuff rules. Put on break stuff before you go work out, and you will fucking. Yeah, I'm going to go jerk off my car to it max. right now after the show. Yeah, you'll jerk off, and then you'll hit your one rep max, dude. Oh my god, you might have worse music taste than Jeff Die. I, I rag on him all the time for the fucking garbage that comes out of his phone. What's he like? Uh, that's the thing. He likes like a lot of you know super poppy stuff. Okay, I'm in. Um, that. Then he has like a bunch of Christian rock from okay. from back in his Christian that's you know trash. school days. That's trash, tra tra so trash. Um, and uh, that's kind of it. It's kind of Christian like, rock. Yeah. Oh god, that stuff sucks so bad. I mean, were you raised uh, religious growing up? Um, not real. I mean. Did you like go I to church? Sometimes, like Christmas and Easter and <laughs> when shit. When your grandparents would drag you? Yeah. 
I, I did like sports stuff. So it was like gone all weekends doing sports. So, you know. Yeah, but you know, Christians also play sports. They yeah, just, but they, just, they just shoehorn in church somewhere. Yeah, but we They go to that 7 a.m. mass or whatever the fuck. No, we just fucking took a knee before the game. <laughs> In, but in but if you do it now, it's, it's a protest Lord. again. Yeah, yeah. But, in, in honor, honor of the, the Lord. Lord not yeah. the, well, that is funny. You could take a knee for the Lord, but you can't take a knee for justice. Well, didn't uh, what's his Little. name? Tebow did that, right? Yeah, all the time. That was his thing. Okay, well, no, no. Uh, Tebow did it. Te first. Tim Tebow did it Tebow first did to did pray with the Jesus, team. Jesus. Okay, yeah. and then uh, Kaepernick did it for the guy that died. Maybe that's whatever. what these black athletes should have done. Like, for the, and the white ones who supported it, who, who were down with the kneeling for the you know for the national anthem. She's like, oh, it's for Jesus. And Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. tack it on. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Do it a two for one. There you go. That's what you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about marketing. See, it's bringing everybody together. Yeah, it's about marketing, Jeff C. It's about the narrative. Mm -hmm. If you right. make up a good reason why you're doing it, people, it's hard to argue. Mm -hmm. You know? But maybe they should have had Tim Tebow and Colin Kaepernick on the yeah. same team and both kneel. Both kneel. Mm -hmm. and so Tim can pray over, you know, a yeah. while, while he and the other one can beg for justice. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, for International Women's Day, what I'm doing is I'm signing up for OnlyFans. That's oh, that's nice. I mean, yeah. I figure it's a direct transfer of wealth, you know. Mm -hmm. So we'll even out the pay gap. Here's what I will do: <laughs> I will I will volunteer for one special OnlyFans creator to come to my apartment and film OnlyFans content for free. Yeah, I will film it for free. Yeah, I mean, you're look, you're a giver. Yeah, and I also I love how too in this day and age, instead of saying sex, it's content. It's like, oh, I'm having some chick go, coming over to banger. It's like, no, 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 some chick's coming over. We're going to make content. Yeah. You know, that's what, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're all content creators. Yeah, that's now. what I'm telling my girls. Like, oh, no, 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 no. We're not having sex, honey. It's content. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you know, and you know Florida is like the home of the uh, OnlyFans models now. It used to be L.A. Okay. But during the pandy, they all fucking scrammed. They went to Florida. Well, yeah, because apparently during the pandemic, you could still have sex without a condom in Florida. Oh, uh, okay. On camera. Yeah, we, so they, there was like a condom law here? There was a condom law here. That's so Which is wild. ridiculous if they're getting tested. And they're all yeah. fucking amongst each other, so it's not like, yeah. you know, it, like... It, it's also like, if you're watching a porn and they put on a condom, it's like, what kind of fantasy is this? It's the, it's, it is the most uh, it's repressive fantasy. That's like if I'm watching a porno and I'm like, oh, cool, they're going on a date now. Yeah. And I got to watch the date. You know, it's like, what the fuck is this shit? How great. Then would, he's like paying for it. I'm like, God <laughs> damn it. How great would that be? Is it, if that's how you had to get uh, like free streaming porn on the Internet, you had to watch instead of watching commercial, you had to watch the date before the sex. <laughs> yeah. Like, shit, I got to sit through an hour of this bullshit yeah. questioning. Yeah. Oh, what are your how many siblings and then they don't you got? Even hook up on the first date. Oh, yeah, she's stiff arms. Yeah, she's like, look, we just met, and, you know, you're cool, but let's hang out again. And you're like, fucking what a... <laughs> we went to Nobu, you bitch. The fuck? <laughs> we could have been making money on this yeah. content. Now we're God. losing money with this Nobu bill. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. When is International Men's Day? There isn't one. Why? We, we, uh, well, the patriarchy, we, we have every day. So. Uh, but that, that's the thing. That's if, if it were really a patriarchy, wouldn't we celebrate ourselves? I mean, yeah, like, look at dictators. That. They have fucking missile parades where they ride on a big float. Yeah. Right? They're, like, if there really was a patriarchy, wouldn't the men have, like, you know, January 1st is Men's Day? Yeah. You know, I, I guess I guess a while back they tried to start snake, uh, staking a blowjob day. Yeah. Like, two weeks, after, it, two weeks after Valentine's no, it's, Day? Uh, it's March 14th. I yeah, think. or the yeah. month after. Yeah. But that, that that never took off. Yeah, I don't think... I don't women get are, Well, I feel like it's women's fault. That they're I mean, not, it's way cheaper not, than Valentine's Day where you gotta fucking take board. them out. They can make a steak at home and suck your cock for nothing. I mean, that's what is that? Eleven dollars? Sure. Yeah. And and five minutes of their time. Yeah. You know, you got to get the flowers and the candy, and you got to mm -hmm. go on an expensive date, and everyone else is out, so the fucking prices are jacked up. It is bullshit because it's like, look, if I give you the Valentine's Day stuff the day after Valentine's Day, I'm saving like seventy five percent on all of that stuff. Dude, I do that whenever I'm in a relationship. I tell, I I, I refuse. After I got out of my engagement, I no longer do anniversaries. Don't mm -hmm. believe in them. Okay. Don't know when we and, do you just not have them? Well, I don't, I, that's the thing. I don't believe in them, but I also don't have them. I kind of yeah. just date a girl and yeah. keep dating the same you girl. Just break and, up, and, and like then all of a sudden, you know, I realize I'm not dating any other girls, and like yeah. I guess we're in a relationship now. Like, yeah. I, you know, I, I get kind of like you know eased into it, yeah. Uh, but that also saves you the anniversary, right? Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna get married, so I'm not gonna have to remember that day, yeah. I'm th that's out, so you got to bring low expectations, yes, into exactly. The relationship. That's why you don't go to Nobu on the first day, nope. You take you, them drinks at a dive bar, yeah. yeah. Like, we're going to the chimney, baby. There's Where a I taco truck <laughs> right outside of my apartment. 
I'll yeah. get you a taco after we bone. And it looks, and she'll be like, it looks like there's, you just put a bag of Taco Bell on a truck that's parked in front of your apartment. And it's like, okay. Okay. They were closed and they decided to give me a taco. special order. Yeah. A special order. No, but I, I have done that like with girls that I dated. Like, like we're not doing, I'll take you out, you know, a week before, a week after Valentine's Day. We'll do whatever you want, do the same bullshit. Mm -hmm. But I'm just not, I'm not go sitting in traffic and trying to find parking and doing all that nonsense. Again. Yeah. Dude, I mean, and it also like so much yeah, and also eating out with your chick. I mean, it's fun, mm -hmm. but it's not as enjoyable as just making a meal at home and mm -hmm. stuffing your face and having sex in the morning. Cause yeah. that, that's another rule. You can't have a heavy meal and then have sex. Yeah. So if you're taking your girl to like an Italian restaurant on Valentine's day, mm -hmm. good luck trying to get a blow job when she's bloated afterward. Yeah. You know, like after, yeah. after eating a bowl of tortellini, she's yeah. not going to feel very sexy after that. Yeah. yeah, which is why, you know, you just take them to the diet. That's bar. why we're going to 7-Eleven, we're picking up snacks, <laughs> and we're getting Some those, those sex pills that they sell. In the oh, counter. the rhino pills at the yeah, counter? What, the what in God? What are those? Are I mean, I'm pretty sure. Do those work at all? I, I think what they do is they just scrape out the Viagra tubs where they make it in China. Okay. And whatever's at the bottom, they just put in those pills and hope it works. Yeah, like, is it? Because I, I guess what? some of them do, some of them don't. It's really hit or miss. Is it for guys or for girls? That's I mean, the obviously, the, the marketing is definitely for dudes. It has the same, like, yeah, energy well, uh, drink. Dude, if, you're, if of... you're fucking a chick and get a boner, that's not a chick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, or, I mean, I, say, wait a minute. I, well, I guess it's a trans chick. Yeah, okay. You know, Yeah. to be, to be accurate. Okay. <laughs> Can you say trans chick? I wonder if they're okay with that. Um, Probably not. Maybe. Probably not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. It depends on the, the lady or the trans Yeah, person. you could be trans. You got the hair for it. I could, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was... Uh... I was joking around uh, the other day on stage. I was like, uh, you know, maybe I'm going to start bringing Viagra to, like, out to the bar mm -hmm. and just crush it up and put in girls' drinks to make sure nice. who I'm bringing home, you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> what would happen... Instead of roofing them, just find out if they have, if they have a boner. Like, what, <laughs> what would happen if a girl takes Viagra? Uh, I, it, it just... All it does is thin your blood. To, and okay. like increase your, increase your blood pressure. So I think so. She would get more. Aroused. She would get flushed. Yeah. Okay. But I'm surprised they haven't done like, dude. They, they've come up with male birth control. That's actually a news story that was fairly recent in the last couple of months. Whoa. They finally came up with a male birth control pill that you take like three hours before you have sex, uh -huh. and it like kills your semen for the okay. next six hours. All right. So and it's not it's like not hormonal somehow. So it's not like women's birth control. Where you have to take it every day. You just take it before uh -huh. you have sex. But I'm surprised. Like, you know the old male birth control, right? Pulling out. Or leaving, <laughs> <laughs> going for a pack of cigarettes and never yeah. coming back. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, I'm going to work and just yeah. never show up. Yeah, just start a whole new family down. elsewhere. Yeah, just go to the next town over and. Yeah, because I mean they couldn't there. track you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what yeah, a, what a, had the, no cell phones. I think that's why the old days were good because you couldn't be not because like men were men. They were well, raising and multiple and look, families. And, yeah, and to be right? fair, it was easier for men back in the day, like mm -hmm. in the 50s when women weren't working. Like, obviously, it was a lot more male employment because every job was held by men for the most part. Mm -hmm. But I think what I would miss most is that the anonymity of the past. Yeah. Like, when you leave the house, you're a free you're agent again. You're just gone. Yeah, you're just eight, gone until you decide like to come home. the whole day. Yeah, you just yeah. decide to come home. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, now, also, now it's just like, where are you? What, what's going on? Uh, We're texting. Yeah. I mean, if you want to keep on with women, there's another pet peeve of mine. Oh, when, I know. <laughs> when I was in a relationship with my, uh, my ex fiance, I used to work tw you know, 12, 15 hour days as a banker. Mm -hmm. And she would call me up at work, when are you coming home? I'm like, as soon as I can. Mm -hmm. you know, Eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Are you done yet? No. But do you think I want to be in this fucking office? You think I don't want to be home with our dog on, on the couch getting high, mm -hmm. you know, eating whatever you cooked for dinner or, you know, four hours earlier? Yeah. But she would, like, give me shit. I'm like, I don't want to be here myself. That's the thing. Like, women, like, women think you can just drop everything and do what they want all the time. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And they never worry about a man's feelings. Your feelings, fuck your feelings. No, they don't care. Nobody cares about a man's no, feelings. No. No one cares at all. <laughs> And they keep, yeah, that, that's another pet peeve. <laughs> Women keep saying this, like, we got a men's mental health or whatever. But they're saying things that, that like, women do as, like, mental health, right? Like, go to therapy or whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's that like, would help. That does help men. Yeah, but talking? I don't know, dude. But that's the thing. No, it, but Here's what you're supposed but there's, to no, do. There's, I'm saying, but that's the thing. There's still a stigma about guys going to get help. Yeah. You know, it's okay for a woman to have feelings. It's still not okay for a man to have feelings. Yeah, but it's, it's like, suck it up, be a man. Here's the thing. It's like, I got to go talk to a therapist who's probably a girl, right? Uh, I mean, my therapists are always men. I couldn't oh, talk okay. to a woman about my problems. Aren't, aren't a lot of them women, though? Uh, I mean, yeah, most of them. 
Yeah. But but like the, I specifically saw, sought out a man mm -hmm. because I knew he would understand where I'm coming from a yeah. lot better than a woman. And also, there is that whole you know Freudian thing where you start to like could, you could you know look at your therapist as a mother figure or even worse you want to bang him. Mm -hmm. And if it's a dude, you know I'm not going to want to bang the, you know my okay. therapist. But yeah, like, yeah. if I had some hot young therapist, you know who's yeah. letting me open up in her office, I could see how that. could See, be, I would be, go be, to that be, kind of therapy. The kind of uh, theme porn flicks? Yes. <laughs> that sounds like a healing experience. They're like, what's your problem? It's like, well, I have a boner right now. That seems to be a problem. Can you can you work on that for 150 yeah. bucks an hour? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then after I'll be like, man, I do feel better. It, it just, really would put you in a better yeah, mood. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe. Yeah, I mean that's that's why they should have just had legal prostitution in this country and get it over with. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like more marriages would stay together. Yeah, if they, you know, if, if a guy can get a blowjob on his lunch break, <laughs> sure. Yeah, you know, because married guys aren't getting them all the time. So yeah. like, yeah, you, know, you throw you throw fifty down, and you spend twenty minutes of your lunch break. Fun. You know, you yeah. skip home. Hey, honey, I'm yeah. feeling much better sure. now. <laughs> yeah. not? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, women don't get it. <laughs> you know. Also, I think you know, women are, are definitely more emotionally connected than men are, but. For sure. There's, I feel like there's a bit of delusion that comes with that. Because mm -hmm. they think their feelings are reality. Yeah. You know, like all, like all women, uh, and I should retweet this joke because I haven't done it. Shit, this might be one of the, one of the first things I ever tweeted. I was like, I was like uh, and I was, you know, 33 at the time. So, you know, if you date a woman over 30, you know, her dating app is like, you know, I want a man who's over six foot two, mm -hmm. makes six figures, has a house, a car, good credit, money, a big dick. And what does she bring into the table? Two kids from some other guy. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's like, where do you get off demanding all of those things mm -hmm. when you yourself are uh, not quite a catch? Yeah. You know, every woman wants the same thing out of a man, you know, tall, dark, handsome, money. It's like, you, so you all want the prince? Mm -hmm. You know, last time I checked, it can only be one princess. You know, like, <laughs> you know it's not like there's 150 million princes running around the United States. Yeah. It's a fucking small handful. We're all frogs. Yeah, We're and you got to keep, frogs, and you got to kiss me on the pecker to find out if I'm going to turn into a That's prince. That's right. <laughs> All right, nice. There you go. Kiss me on my frog pecker. Nice. You know. Yeah. And look, worst case scenario, you, you get a little, a little fucking uh, yeah. hallucinog hallucinogenic trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which actually reminds me, I was actually going to bring this up with the uh, the next woman I had in the podcast, but someone <laughs> shared with me a great app. A great like website. It's called uh, IGotStandardsBro.com. It's the female delusion calculator. Oh wow! All right, so I'm do let's do a little experiment here. Okay. Uh, let's pick an age range. Let's pick our age range, right? Thirty to forty, let's say, because it has okay. like, all these sliders. You can you can adjust these things. Are okay. Like, Wait, uh, this is the age range. Like so, we're, age, so we're, th this we're picking for a yeah, woman. So, yeah. So this calculator calculates uh, the amount of men available in the United States that meet your criteria. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, so the age range thirty to forty. Race, any color. Let's hope this woman isn't racist. Mm -hmm. um, height, over six feet. So I'll just put six feet at the minimum. Okay. Right? Minimum income, everyone wants a six-figure guy, right? hundred grand, which is not that much in LA, unfortunately, but that's still, you know, a healthy salary. Let's put that up, a hundred grand. Uh, now, guess how many, what percentage of the U.S. male population meets those five criteria? Any race, over six feet, single, and uh, and makes a hundred grand a year. Uh, oh no, sorry. Any marital status. So I even put married men on here. Okay. So any marital status. Uh, ten percent. Three point eight percent. Wow. Yeah. So this is where the women's delusion comes in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let me let me see. Uh, but uh, okay. And if Just I to play devil's advocate, though, I would say a lot of men are claiming that they are in that percent. That's what I'm saying. So on that, the app. That's what I'm saying. So that yeah. six feet's already they're, they're, that our number's already inflated. Yeah. Now, if you just include the single guys, that drops to 094 mm percent. -hmm. Less than one percent of men in, in this country are single of any race, over six feet, and make six figures. Wow. So, how in the fucking world do all these women on these dating apps think they're going to find that guy? That's why they're still on the dating app. <laughs> They're that's why like dating, that's still, like dating apps are a multi-billion dollar business. They're still looking for. Also, I don't think it's really like there's not that many people on it. You know what I mean? 
Oh, you like go get matches, but they're not real matches. Yeah, there's that, and there's also people that just have that signed up for it years ago, and they're just their app. They're, yeah, they're, still, they're, they're it's still uh, on there. Their profile is just lingering on there. Yeah, no, I, but I do lots think of dead people. I think they're making like fake profiles. And oh, like you having like you, Ashley Madison kind of thing. Yes, I okay. do believe that that is happening because it's like I bet. Yeah, because it's like if you're paying for like a premium one. Or whatever. What it's kind of a loser pays for a premium dating app? I've done it. Oh my Dude. god, Jeff Zenith. No, it for rules. What, what purpose? It rules. How so? What, what change, benefit do you get from paying? Yeah, I don't for know. You can change your location and all that stuff. You, you can know? change your location, age, you can lie. What, what? Yeah. It gives you the ability to lie better? Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. But I mean, still they have to be within they have to set their own age range. So it does, okay. like it's still even if it doesn't show your age, it's still like Yeah. What's your still, age range, if you don't mind me asking? My age range? Yeah, like what do you put for the women you like to want to find? Um, I think it's under between like 23 and 30 ish. 30, okay. 30, 32. All right. I would have thought, thought you went older and I would have thought you went younger. Well, okay. I would have thought Look. you went fucking 18 to 50. Because I mean, that's how guys are. Like, well, you know, if she's hot, she's 50. I don't give yeah. a f- shit. Well, I mean, just on the dating app, I feel like the. I did have it higher, but. When I was matching like older chicks, they were all like le- serious stuff and what are we right away? You know, uh, like, gotcha, so gotcha, if I'm gotcha. if I'm looking for a more serious thing, I will increase it. But mm. I'm I not see. currently in that. Do, do you put your height on the dating apps? Because you're all talking. Yeah, on. that's the only thing in my bio. Why would I put? <laughs> If you're six you're, seven, you're you leaning on that heavy. That. You're leaning on that. I'm heavy. Like, hey, I have no personality, but I'm tall. <laughs> That's what they want. I used to joke yeah. about that. Like, ladies, is he funny or is he just tall? Because they're yeah. just like laughing up at you. You <laughs> yeah. know, like even no matter what you say. That's right. But uh, if guys have to put their height <laughs> in dating apps, women should have to put their weight. That's mm-hmm. what I, I'm. Putting, I like that. You know, that's good. Beca- and uh, look, it's, I know it sounds callous, but I can't change how tall I am. Neither can you. Yeah. B- but everybody can change their weight. Sure. You know, like like you have to put your race on the dating app. That's something I can't do anything about. Mm-hmm. But your weight is certainly something that's fully in, within your control. True. You know. Yeah. And uh, I like that. <laughs> and it'll save a lot of catfishing because that happened to me once years ago in Boston. Dude. I mean, I showed up, and when I say she 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 missed the mark on what her photos look like. Yeah. I think she was taking those photos from a satellite in space. Mm. I mean, she would put on a nice. good forty all pounds the, all the since whatever within those angle. photos. I don't know how old those photos are and what angles she was sitting at. Yeah. But it, uh, and look. I get it. Like you want to put your, you know, your best face forward and all that. But I'm going. If I'm going to meet up with you, I'm going to see you. Yeah. Like it's like the ruse is going to wear off. You think I'm just going to, uh, no, ah, yeah, uh, whatever. You yeah. know, like like if I showed up and said, you know, I'm I'm six foot six, but I show up in a wheelchair. Yeah. Like what the fuck, man? Like, you know, I am six foot six. I just can't stand up anymore. Like yeah. come on, what the fuck? Like they're going to be like, what the fuck? I didn't sign up to you know to push you everywhere. Well, you're putting your best self forward. So if your best self was seven years ago. And put that. <laughs> it's it's more it's like a asp- time machine. Yeah. Dating apps are a time machine no, when you more, were hot. It's more aspirational, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it really like, is. look, you what you met on the the dating app was who I want to be. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the dating profile I want to live <laughs> yeah. up to. Yeah, that, that's the thing about all, every all these internet apps, you know, the dating mm-hmm. apps and social media. Uh, people just like they, just like it's not called sex anymore. It's called making content. Yeah. Uh, Lying is no longer lying anymore. It's called curating my profile, Curi- oh, okay. curating my brand. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, so everything on your Instagram is a fucking lie? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, say what you want about my Instagram, but it, it is it is a pretty good representation of myself. Yeah. No, <laughs> Better uh, or worse, you know. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough. Do you do a lot of curating? Uh, Are you, like, particular about your, the photos you post on, on the gram? I mean, I don't have a lot of photos you know you're but, like a good looking guy you should put them out there you should put your cock on there dude yeah okay you know right. placid too dude. yeah sure you know so i can see you know God, it, it, this oh. is how it's this is how it starts yeah you know yeah okay <laughs> that that's a good dating app profile you don't i'm surprised they, i'm surprised they don't have a dating app where they where, they, where you can't include nudes um just, just put it out there do isn't there there's like sex apps i mean really? those are those are for like sex workers yeah, but don't don't they have like, I mean, on porn sites, don't they have that like find girls to bang in your area? area. Yeah, like, I don't think which that's is like, I don't think that's real. So Jeff, fake. Sec, I don't think I'm going up. To, no, those of, aren't real. Yeah, who are these women? <laughs> they don't exist. They're, it's fake. That's fake shit. <laughs> the the dial up operators on a nine hundred line. Yeah, how so. sad is that? Back in like in the nineties, you people guys would just call up. 
It was just like a hot locals in your area and just talk to a strange woman on the phone. No, it was like a dude from India. <laughs> call center. Indian, Indian call center. center. Yeah. He's got a horrible oh, Indian you, accent. You are Where are you horny? from? Colombia? You are so. horny? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Press one if horny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they still have those sites, man. Maybe those incels, if they get involved with that, they'll stop blowing shit up. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they will. Yeah, we need more incel call centers. You guys, incel call? Yeah, yeah. it's called the suicide hotline. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they have that you know yeah yeah <laughs> yeah what are incels doing you know yeah have you guys discussed incels and the two woke boys what's that have you guys discussed discussed incels on the two woke boys um i don't no not really i feel like there's fodder like, for you guys to track i feel like those, those well, are the most like chauvinist fans, men out there so it's <laughs> probably not <laughs> we don't want to trash our fan base yeah i don't think our fans are incels but Maybe I think it if it weren't be. for incels, OnlyFans would uh, would not be the the mega success that it is. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Like you know, you watch porn, I watch porn. We're guys, but I'm not paying for OnlyFans to do it. Mm -hmm. It's always some creep who wants to see his you know his like neighbor's wife naked, who's, who's going to pay the seven nine nine a month to look at her box. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> yeah, that's pretty beta. Yeah, yeah. and it also limits the amount of women they can look at, unless they're like like I wonder if guys are out there like paying for like. 40 only fan subscriptions for the 40 women that they're into you know, five dollars a month that is weird to have to like be like well, 800 dollars a month on only fans it's like i gotta drop disney plus so i can follow this bitch. this one girl who's gonna get yeah. banged on camera which also for that girl it's like you think you're the same disney as plus. disney plus yeah good you're point. equal to disney plus yeah exactly yeah i'm you, watching last of us yeah on now, hbo max and, and yeah. now <laughs> your vagina the yeah, same it, it quality. Really is pretty content. aggressive pricing. Yeah, come on, dude. They should treat it more like uh, like Apple Music, ninety nine cents. Yeah, yeah, like uh, <laughs> oh, like buying an individual song. Yeah, or yeah, like three, yeah, yeah, on demand. That, yeah. Okay, but wait, isn't that what Apple Plus is? Uh, or is that like they have their no own Apple Music is a subscription for the month, like seven ninety nine a month. Yeah, uh, okay, iTunes, iTunes. okay. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, they should lower that pricing. And also, I feel like you'd bring in a lot more guys. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I was like, oh, it's ninety nine dollars a month. Like, I'm not going to check that out. It's like, oh, ninety nine cents. Yeah, I'll sign up for a month, see what it looks like. Yeah, you know, okay. a lot of a lot more one off. Yeah. Fans. Do they have like a um like a shared subscription situation yeah, like Netflix dude. used to? Where's yeah? What's up? Can with, we share each other's? Yeah, only there, there's got to be a subreddit about with, yeah. with shared subscriptions. Yeah. We share a password, yeah. and it's got like your grandma's fucking name in there, like your <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> It's your dad's OnlyFans account you're using. <laughs> you bring friends over and they're like log in. And it's like, what is there 17 yeah. people on your fucking It'd also be profile. really weird because you'll see the kind of girls your dad's following. It's like, they look yeah. nothing like mom. Holy shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's the equivalent of like the tape era of porn yes. where you like see where it you're, ended. Yeah, with the last scene your father was watching when you, when you, when yeah. you plopped it. That, that, that was tough. Tough situation. Did you ever? Did you ever catch it? Did you ever find your dad's porn? No, no, no. But I did have friends who their their parents had porn, like, and they weren't like good about hiding it. Yeah, it was just like out. <laughs> <laughs> like we're, it's like, hey, yeah, you know, we're like they left in, it out next to their vibrators. No, it's like literally like where the fucking the one VCR in the house is. It's like, do you want to watch Happy Gilmore or Butt Slammers Nine? <laughs> you know, it's like. Well, I mean, I like Happy Gilmore, but yeah, what's his... I haven't seen the ninth installment of Butt I mean, Slammers. You know, it I'm, must I'm a, be good if I'm there were eight previous ones. Exactly, I'm I caught mean, up on one through eight. I haven't seen nine. Yeah, yet. I mean, Police Academy had like nine or ten of those, so <laughs> those were pretty good. I bet Butt Slammers probably pretty solid. Dude, when I was when I was younger, I was like, you know, of eight, you know, turning that age, puberty, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. uh, a buddy of mine, I won't say his name, uh, his. You know, I lived in New York and had the three, four story houses and his uncle lived in one of the upstairs apartment. Yeah. When he was, you know, he'd be out. He's like, hey, I know where my uncle hides his porn. So we, like, you know, busted in the apartment, grabbed the extra mm -hmm. key and grabbed some tapes and threw them in. And, you know, first two tapes was, you know, it was old school porn and from the 80s, whatever. It's like, oh, it's normal stuff. Yeah. And we're just seeing what's, you know, what's on them all, you know, what, what, what the title track is. And uh, we pop in one and it's dudes doing it. And okay. <laughs> Wow, that's so, not what. I so expected. my buddy had to learn the hard way. His his, wow. son, his uncle, you know, swung both ways, 
But yeah. I, the look of you know the look of him back, it's like four of us like, oh, what's anything any of stuff cool? Yeah. And he's like, oh god, guys. <laughs> like we we were all like, Wait. um, I think it's time for dinner. We all left. <laughs> was it what was it, was this on a tape or it was what? a VHS tape? Okay. Was it like a a bootleg VHS tape? No, no, no label, no box, just a okay. black tape. Yeah. You know, so you had to pop it in and see what it was. Man, that's got to be tough to hide your porn stash when it's like a physical. <laughs> Like a fucking VHS tapes like that big. I know. I mean, think when it was DVDs, that was bad enough. Like, you, know, if you had a collection of porn. It'd be like you needed a room. <laughs> you, need a, you, you need a, a den, media, like a, a media porn media den, room, a media room to store it in. Yeah. God, that would suck. I know. Now we have it all on our phone. And you got to rewind it with those fucking. <laughs> oh, dude. I, I mean, I remember like going to the video store and watching guys go through those like flap, those saloon doors that flapped with yeah. the beads to where the mm -hmm. where the dirty videos were and rent. The, like rent. I used to work at a, a video store, and we had those. Dude, did kinda... they dip it in like <laughs> alcohol right. after after Crazy. they brought it back? Because I mean, you assume the guy's taking his dirty jizz hand and pulling it out of the VCR. That is tough. You know? That was a tough era, dude. You had to go to a store and interact with a teenager, and they would know what kind of kink you're into. Here's you know, yeah. you, know uh, you know, butt pleasure, you know, butthole pleasure. Then I then me working the counter as a teenager, I have to be like, straight looks like you're. You owe a late fee on Butt Slammers 9. <laughs> Do you still have that? Or yeah. <laughs> can we get that back? Can we get that back? Because it's you know kind of a popular yeah, title. Yeah, yeah. You know, because yeah, you've rented it. A couple guys have already asked times. for it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you have rented it a bunch. So. <laughs> Would you work at Hollywood Video? Yeah. No shit, not Blockbuster, huh? No. I worked at the one that was the worst. Yeah, you and Jeff died both. Hollywood video guys. Yeah, dude. I was a blockbuster kid. Well, Hell when yeah. it finally opened up in New York, there weren't... In New York, like, all through the 80s and most of the 90s, there was, like, very few chains. Mm. Like, cause mom and pops, you know, they were fucking everywhere. They, the, I mean, people the video pizza stores? Shop. Yeah. yeah. They were all over the pizza yeah, shops. Yeah, we had some of those. Subway didn't exist in New York. Every deli sold a fucking sub bed in Subway for cheaper. Mm. They just didn't exist. Like, somewhere in, like, the mid-90s, like, Pizza Hut started creeping in, and Taco Bell crept in, and McDonald's came kind of late. Remember yeah. there was like a Roy Rogers, which yeah. might as well be a holding cell for penitentiary. Yeah. Uh, it's such a shithole. But are uh, those like at the gas or the gas stations in New Jersey? Roy Rogers, yeah. They, they, yeah. yeah those like, suck. They're awful, dude. They're garbage. They, it, it's like a low rent Arby's. It's yeah. just terrible. Which Arby's is fucking trash. shit. Yeah. Just garbage. Yeah. What's your favorite fast food? That's a good question. Um you were talking about it earlier. Favorite fast food. Like what chain is your go-to? Hmm. Probably. I don't know. Wendy's is good. Really? I yeah. like Wendy's. I'm a Big Mac guy, man. I, I just, I, the yeah. old, num old number classic, one dude. always delivers. McDonald's is classic. Yeah. 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 Uh, they have those new chains out there now, like Five Guys and shit. Five know, Guys man. is okay. Yeah. I hate Jersey Mike's. Those fucking subs are absolute trash. I like Jersey Mike's. Yeah, you seem like a Jersey Mike's guy. Wait, what? Florida garbage you are. <laughs> you know what's good? Firehouse. Firehouse is a good sub. Though. I haven't had Firehouse. They're good. They used to have Quiznos when I was a kid with that weird little yeah. thing that came on TV. It was like a weird mascot that was like a Play-Doh fucking head. I remember that. It was bizarre. Yeah. And the big thing was, oh, we toast the sub. Mm -hmm. It's like, what, you have an oven? Ooh. It is, yeah. That was, it was that a big thing. literally was their selling point. Yeah, but like, they did that all over New York, man. I mean, every fucking Italian deli would sell you a sub that they you know grilled. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're... New York just has better. It's true. It's, it's, a and, it's a tough comparison, and it's all like it's kind of like out here where it's there's no chains. Yeah. So yeah. people are. I'll tell you, fucking overrated. In and Out. Okay. I mean, I like In and Out. No, but it's it's, it's look, fine. Their fries are absolute fucking trash. Okay. Their burgers are okay. People rave about them, but I mean, how good is one burger from another? I did get food uh, poisoning. It, even a hundred dollar burger at a fine dining restaurant is maybe twenty percent better than a Big Mac. I mean, there's no like it's not like mm -hmm. there's a big yeah, gap. but a Big Mac like you can be like a vegan and eat a Big Mac because it's still there's like, no meat in there. Yeah, there's no meat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but one, my biggest beef with In and Out is that it's not In and Out. It takes a half a fucking hour to order one burger in there, dude. You're yeah. in, and then you're staying there waiting with every other jerk off of their fucking Yeah, but food. they don't want to call it in and then stay Wait. for about 10 minutes and then out. Yeah. They don't want to call it <laughs> It's got a long title. It's long, yeah, yeah, the sign would yeah. be big. And here's a hack for, here's a little hack for anyone coming from out of town, going to an In-N-Out burger. Do not get in the drive through line. Park your car, go inside. You'll save yourself oh, a good 100%. 20 minutes. For whatever yeah. reason, people just love to wait in their car. It's like, mm. you could have been home already eating that food. Like, what, just go yeah. inside, get it, and get, walk out. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand people. This, this city's full of lazy fucking liars. Yeah. But <laughs> I, do, I will say of drive through stuff, I do miss the drive through liquor store. That's, that is not a thing here. That's And hilarious. it's never a thing in New York. 
That's so funny. Can you drive? Can you drink and drive me, in, uh, in in You Florida? can't drink and drive in any state. No, you can. In, no. Mont- in Montana, you can have an open container in your car. You can have an open container, but you can't drink well, and drive. Well, when, I, when I say I, being drunk, drunk driving is illegal. Yes. But you can have a beer and drive in Idaho and Wyoming. Okay. As long as you're not over the legal limit. They can okay. give you like a to-go cup when you leave But then you the can get a DWI driving while. Well, if, you, if, you get, if you're driving far enough and you're getting hammered while doing it. Yeah. But, you know. Like uh, <laughs> that is pretty funny though. It's Dude, like it an officer my- pulls you over and you're like, "This is just my first beer." <laughs> kind of save time when I get there, officer. I'm just multitasking here. <laughs> a little road soda. Yeah, I'm. This is fine. Okay, it is open. Yeah. It's cool. It blew me away. My first time visiting Montana, I was like, you know, we we're leaving the bar to go somewhere else, and uh, I'm like, you know, by the door, like slamming a beer. Guys, like, whoa, 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 you want a cup for that? Like, what do you mean? It's like, here, just pour it in the, they have like a little dispenser of cups. Just pour it in your cup and walk out with it. Mm-hmm. It's like, what? He's like, yeah, you can drink in public <laughs> out here. Cups. I'm like, this is amazing, dude. I think Georgia had that. Oh. I remember right. <laughs> yeah, and then a bunch of people died in car accidents. Like, I don't know for this. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That is fun, driving to a liquor store. And then them. my favorite would be that they would put your beer in a paper bag for discreetness. As if that from the from the window to like the inside no your car? one is drinking a regular beverage out of a paper bag. Oh yeah, that's a big thing. Right. That was a big thing in New York. It's like, let me drink my Pepsi out of this. Yeah, paper you have bag. a forty in a paper bag. It's like everyone knows it's a forty. Yeah, like it's pretty. It's not concealing. Yeah, no anything. one's ever drank a two liter Pepsi out of a fucking paper bag. No, <laughs> it's so funny. It's the worst discreet. Thing. It's actually more not discreet. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it definitely advertises that you're drinking. Yes, 100. percent You know, I that, agree with that, that is awesome though. <laughs> One time I was at a, uh, I was on my way to like a tennis thing or whatever. I went to a Burger King to get a, like a breakfast sandwich or whatever. I saw this uh, guy come out of there and he got a like a large drink or whatever. It's like some construction guy. Yeah. He uh, takes his large cup, dumps out the soda he got, and I saw him just dump like a 40 into oh. it and i was like that guy rules yes man do you know how jealous i was of those guys when i was working as a banker in new york because I'd, I'd pass by them in construction sites and i'd see them at their you know their lunch break or they're taking their you know, their coffee break in the morning mm-hmm. and just crack open a bud yeah and then they can go back to work i'm like oh man like these guys are doing like real man shit hammering rivets into a fucking skyscraper yeah you know and they get to drink beer while they do it meanwhile i'm like slinking over to my stupid office job scared of my fucking diminutive asian boss because he could fire me well, wait don't minute. don't the bank guys don't they all do like coke and stuff yeah but that's not even fun wait, dude they do coke they, so do you they... can stay up and stay at work it's the yeah. only it's the only job where they give you drugs to keep working cool. like, like it's not like you do coke and then go to the strip club it's like okay. you know you, the, the, your boss will give you a coke so you can stay up overnight working it's, it's, it's not uh, it's <laughs> and now it's all adderall so they don't even bother with that like why would we pay for street coke isn't adderall... we give you a prescription for adderall Adderall is coke, though. Same basically. thing. You, yeah. you will test positive. Uh, if you take Adderall regularly and they give you a drug test, you will test positive for cocaine because it breaks down to the same thing. Wow. So you have to provide your prescription to a, to a, to a, prescription to a, to a, dr- a doctor to give you a drug test. Wow. Yeah, it's the same thing. That's so all they do is they add a salt to it so it's slow release. Okay. Yeah. But that's why kids you, crush them up and snort them. Same yeah. thing. <laughs> man, that's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, you should know about this. Florida, man. The Pill Mill Central. Yeah, but I, I wasn't doing that stuff. You weren't, you weren't, you, I took, uh, I mean, did you party? You don't party much now, oddly no, enough. No. Even though you sound like you're stoned every minute of the day. He's not, by the way. He barely yeah. smokes weed. Yeah. Well, if I smoked, I would be dumber than I am, which is <laughs> bad. I'm already at a yeah. good. You'd be on the spectrum if you I'm smoked. At a good level. <laughs> you're just yeah. barely above autism right yeah. now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm hovering around autism and then <laughs> below that, you know. I'm gonna put you in a home. Yeah. It's no good. So. Did you party as a kid though, like growing up in high school and whatnot? Because I mean, no. Florida's got to be a party city, party state for sure. Yeah, no, not really. I mean, I grew up in the suburbs. I was a stay-at-home mom, like pretty, like yeah. But there was always house parties and stuff. Yeah, I wasn't going to that stuff. I was like, I had the sheltered kid life, dude. I was like sports kid. Okay. I was into tennis all the time. Always going to that shit. Okay, so your mom was overprotective. I now I know why you hate women. I, I see. I it all comes full circle, Jeff Zenisek. <laughs> I didn't smoke weed until I was like 32. No shit. Yeah. I started late, but I started like my senior in high school. And I didn't really get into it until college when I started smoking every okay. day. Yeah. Um, but I actually enjoyed it because it made me not nervous, not anxious. Really? Yeah, smoking weed. Wow. Yeah, And also it just doesn't give you that. I mean, like in college, like 
you know, if I wanted to take a night off, you know, I lived in fraternity, and they're like, you're fucking, you're being a pussy. It's like, all right, I'll get high instead. You know, yeah. Like, I'll, I'll just something to get off my, you know. The last couple of times I did weed, I yeah. did weed. That's how you know you don't do it often. Yeah. No, no one does I weed. I do weed. <laughs> I'm a big weed head. I do marijuana. <laughs> Hey guys, who wants to do drugs? Specifically, marijuana. Marijuana. <laughs> He's ready to party. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I you were saying that you have your first time smoking weed. Yeah, I was like 32. Did you get super high or would you like? Oh, yeah. Um, no, it, like the, when I first started, I got high and it was fun. But then I started getting like really paranoid. Oh, that's insane. That, yeah. Yeah. And one, t one time I did too much. That was a mistake. Edibles? Yeah. Usually the case. God damn it. They, but I just, I just didn't read the label. Yeah. And one the problem with it is, too, once you eat them, you can't, like, when you're smoking weed, you're like, all right, I'm high enough now. You can put it down. Yeah. You eat the edible. It, it, it's taking you as far as it's going to take you. Like, yeah. it, 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 you can't regulate it after that. Yeah. But the one time I went, uh, I, like, walked up to the comedy store. Mm. I used to live at the bottom of the hill by okay. the EP and LP there. Oh, wow. Like, right there. Melrose. Right, right by the, me. Yeah. I used to live down there. So I walked up the hill to the comedy store. And this is like right after I started smoking weed. I had a vape pen. So I brought it with me. And I was like, I'll take a few hits while I'm on the way up there. But that, th that hill is like steep, dude. And you saw I'm like taking, taking a hike. Deep, so I'm like taking deep, deep breaths. Deep inhales with the, yeah. Fucking crushing this vape, dude. And I get up there and I start socializing with people. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I am too high, dude. I got to get out of here. <laughs> you just turned around and went back down the hill? I wanted to, but then I kept running into people, and they were like, oh, hey, man, what's going on? Are you, are you, are you cool? What's... And, dude, I remember there was one guy, like, I told, I was like, hey, what's up, or whatever. He's, he just, like, started pouring his heart out to me and, like, telling me, like, his whole thing. Oh, my and God. The whole nothing, time, nothing will kill your buzz like that. Dude, the whole time I was just, like, staring at him, like, and I was like, He's like talking about important stuff. I should <laughs> probably listen to this. He's talking about his relationship with his father, and, and all of a sudden you got roped into it. And I'm just like staring through him and just, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm looking at his face, but like through it and like just no, nothing's going in. <laughs> nothing registering. And then he's like, he stopped talking for a second. And I go, hey man, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't hear anything you just said. <laughs> I'm like kind of high. How did he take that? He, he was like, Okay. <laughs> he was relieved. Oh, thank God. I know. I was embarrassed like, by all the shit I just I'm told like, Jeff dude, I, I'm like, dude, I gotta, I'm sorry, bro. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> and then I just walked, I walked back home. Yeah. You don't drink much either. So just, what, what, what's your I'll advice? Drink. Just jerking off? Fucking... I'll drink. I drink. I haven't seen you hammered in the fucking six years I've known you. Well, I don't drink to get hammered, you know. But sometimes you're with your friends and it's good to get hammered with your friends. Yeah, I'll get hammered. That's how you, that's how you form a bond. Yeah. You know, you commit crimes together, low grade we've, crimes. We've, We've been drunk together. Oh, that's, yeah, I forgot. Fucking Las yeah, Vegas. See? Las see? Vegas. We did have a night in Las Vegas. Yes, dude. Yeah, back when I had bread, yeah. Jeff Z was blown away by how much money I, that <laughs> I was, was giving crazy. him. That was insane. What, I hand you like 300 bucks at the strip joint, and you're like, oh my God, dude. Yeah. When they told us how much it was to get in, I was like, well, I guess we're not going in. <laughs> and then you were like, I got it. I'm like, what are we, what? I just stopped working then, man. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was just crazy. started going on the road with Jeff, and uh, I had a healthy bank account. I was like, yeah, you know. Fuck it, we'll blow it. My first, was my first time going to Vegas that for comedy. Insane. I was like, fuck it, let's blow it out. That was bonkers. Yeah, I don't even want to tell you what that night cost me. Because, <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, if you had one girl, I had four. <laughs> it know, was. Like, I'm not going to treat, I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to let you treat yourself better than I treat myself. Yeah, of course. That was <laughs> insane. That's when I learned that, like, I, I don't really, like, I'm not a strip club guy. You know. And I realized it's like, oh, I'm, I do it wrong. Yeah. You did it right. Well, that's the thing. I'm not a strip club guy anymore because once you have your fun there, and also it's expensive. But two, um, I had I had like my era with it when I first got single and then come, fresh coming out of college with you know, my buddies. And once you kind of get like the pattern down, mm -hmm. I start to like use strip clubs for what I want. So like strip clubs now are great if you don't know anyone in the town. So probably like blowing through like Albany or something like that. I like how you're like, I use strip clubs for networking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good business place to yeah, it's, you know. yeah make connections <laughs> with people. Pretty, it's pretty um, but you know they're always open. La they're always open last, right? So sure. if, like if the late night, that's where you go. Ah, uh, fuck. Denny's is closed. Right. Where are we gonna go? Yeah. If you're looking for drugs, every strip club in the country has <laughs> drugs, folks, and in foreign countries. Yeah. I've been like to Lebanon. I was like, hey, where can I get some weed? He's like, I, I, I don't know. I, went, I found a strip club in Lebanon. They had fucking weed at the strip club. What's the difference in a strip club in a foreign country versus? They're the also whorehouses in other countries. <laughs> 
Okay. So you, like the girls are, and they're forced. not that, here. not that here. Okay. No. Okay. No. If you want to so, have sex with the girls, you got to get them out of the club in the United States. Okay. Yeah. It's wow. a rule. Okay. Yeah. Unless it's in Florida. I've heard other things about really? Florida. I've heard, I'm not going to name names of strip wow. clubs, but I, you know, I've heard different things in Florida. Yeah. I almost got a job DJing at a strip club. Can you do the DJ voice? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage cinema. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Take your dollar bills and shove them in her pussy. <laughs> Here's the problem though. I would have played the worst music. Oh, yeah. I, I, we heard I got, Limp Biscuit the whole yeah, fucking time. Like, the place would have been empty. Here's a song for a girl that hates her dad. <laughs> and I would have played fucking break stuff. <laughs> Who likes Linkin Park? <laughs> and then, <I> would've... <laughs> then they would have got mad at Some me. Some Billy like, Joel? All right, fine. Is this Taylor Swift it is. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I wouldn't be able to do it, you know? Yeah, I see that. So, And also, like, I thought I had an... A, a thought of what it would be but then the the guy that like was the he was like the manager's strip club he was a comedian in florida nice super this nice guy, guy. Killing it. dude he was awesome. a comedian and he, he was owned so a strip funny. club what a fucking what a great dual life dude he's like you know when i'm not telling jokes i'm i'm you know i'm dude, testing out the chicks at my strip club that also like was really crazy because it didn't even seem like he did because he was like clean comedy guy so, oh, so he's playing a little bait and switch. Yeah, so he had like this alternative persona, and we were like, what the fuck? Nice. Did he own yeah. the club or just manage it? He managed it. Okay. He might have owned it. Yeah, because usually clubs. the mafia owns those clubs. It's a great way to launder money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he was like, he told me, we found out he uh, was a, he managed there, and he was like, I'm looking for a DJ. I'm like, dude, dude. that would be sick. <laughs> so You just thought it'd be a parade of pussy. I thought it well. <laughs> In Jesse's yeah. apartment. Yeah. Little did you know, they just look at you like like part well, of the staff. Like, also, oh. it was like a sadder environment than I expected. Oh, it to be. so it, it wasn't one of these. It wasn't uh, a good. It wasn't the spearmint rhino on the strip in Vegas. No, it was a trailer park in, in like in like yeah. the outskirts of Jacksonville. Yeah, it was like not great. Um, a lot of shady activity going on there, and then um, you know just you know the girls were not, a bunch of fours. Yeah. 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 Dude, I'll tell you though, though some man. of those clubs, the seedier strip clubs can be more fun because sure. it removes the sexual tension. Mm -hmm. and th then it's just a party with some really funny looking chicks. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> we used to do, there, there used to be a show at a strip club there. Oh, dude. And yeah. I, do I've never done a strip club. I have done a drag show. Yeah. Not my, me and drag, but I perform comedy no, at a drag bar. It. You did. It. Well, listen, I'm a forward guy. <laughs> nice. You know, I'm, 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 I'm going to be the third woke boy. Hell yeah. I love it. I'm the, the trans woke boy. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, what were they paying? So, uh, at the strip club? Uh, it, was, it was just like one of the comics like put on a show there. So uh, it was okay. like just like, oh, okay. free bullshit. Well, well, as a DJ, what would you, get, what would you make? Uh, I didn't do it long enough to get you anything. You didn't check into it? Yeah, because I, after I went the one day, I was like, yeah. Do they audition you? Do you have to like get on the pole? No. The, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. No. But yeah, the that was it was not a fun. I wonder I mean like it would have been cool, but I wonder, but I would have just been playing terrible songs and pissing and, the chicks off. Oh my god. Not, they, would have, they would have hated me. And I'm like, come on, dude. You come out to the song that the fucking Hulk Hogan came out to. How sick would that be? And she's like, I don't want to dance to real American. Yeah. <laughs> Because like, someone's coming out to Rocky theme like, music. Come on, like dun, 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 tits dun, out, then give dun, one of these. No one, yeah. You know, come on, come on. And then she rips her shirt off like Hulk Hogan. Dude, how sick would that be? <laughs> Dude, you're the only guy I know who wants to fuck a Hulk Hogan. <laughs> like look alike. That would be well, awesome. I don't want her to look like a Hulk chick Hogan. with a bandana and bleach blonde hair and a Fu, Fu Manchu mustache comes out to Hulk Hogan and rips her shirt off. Let like, me tell you something, brother. <laughs> yeah. You want to get your dick sucked, brother? Yeah. <laughs> she uses that deep voice the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> that would be terrible. Yeah, would not not, not good. good for business, my friend. No. <laughs> uh, all right, we got about 15 minutes left, and I don't want to shortchange the news. Uh, you want to get into a little news here? Sure, dude. There's a reason I asked you about the party, the, like partying as a kid. Uh -huh. so I saw this. Uh, a California mom accused of hosting wild teen sex parties is attacked in jail. Uh, a mom accused of hosting secret sex parties where she watched her teen son's friends having sex was, was attacked by inmates in a California prison. Uh, this is up in Santa Clara. So apparently this woman would allow her son and his friends to come over and bring other friends and get like trash in their basement. 
And they'd end up hooking up with these girls and she would just like oh, hang so, around for it. So, okay, she went to jail for being too cool of a mom. Yeah. That, see, th this goes to like see, the cool mom. Well, this is, this, is, uh, this is why we're celebrating International Women's Day. This is bullshit. The patriarchy yeah, has the lost The patriarchy it. has lost it on this one. Yeah, and this woman's just being a cool mom. That's all it is. Okay. Yeah. Although I will say she crossed the line when she watched when she cool. watched her son fuck chicks. Too cool, mom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Too cool mom. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> yeah. Make us like cut up orange slices and sandwiches or whatever for the for the after part. Yeah. Don't be in the room. Yeah. Once the wieners start coming out, mom, you go away. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> yeah mom, wait in the car. That's like that's like most kids, like most apparently her son was like 15, 16 years old. It's like most six year olds. Uh, this is also this is also young mom. Young divorce mom. Yeah, she's in her I early forties, like forty one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a this is a lady that got pregnant young. Yep. Yeah, crazy you relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know. yeah. But I mean, you would think that's tough, dude. Like, that, like that's like the worst thing a fifteen year old could imagine is getting caught either masturbating or having sex by their mother. Yeah, and she's just down there, like look, watching them have an orgy. That's that is crazy. But then also, like the other, you know. The other people involved, right? Like the girls that are like, so your mom's just gonna. Your mom's just gonna hang back there. Mom, yeah, yeah, she's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm cucking out your mother. Like, <laughs> yeah, very strange. It's a yeah, wild cucking thing. your mom. It's yeah, <laughs> I couldn't even watch like a rated R movie with my parents in the room. <laughs> that you know is, but that was an uncomfortable that feeling. That was so. The titty popped out. You're God, like, oh, damn shit. It. dude. When I was a kid, we rented "Don't Be a Menace to South Central." Yes, while drinking your juice in the love hood. that movie. Yeah, and there was like a. I mean, it was like pretty insane yeah. yeah there was like a part where there's like fucking and yeah. like i was just like and it was comical fucking it wasn't dude, I, like, yeah i had to leave the room yeah it's a weird it's a weird yeah. it's a weird vibe i was also like 10 so that was also weird yeah but, but I, I assume it sounds like your parents were like mine they let you watch anything they didn't, didn't matter the radio yeah, there was no like my, my grandfather showed me animal house when i was like yeah. seven you know, like, like oh this yeah. is really funny and uh, yeah. i mean there's, there's statutory rape in that you know like yeah. there's tits in that yeah. Also, it's all, you know, underage drinking. It's like, oh, yeah, this is good for kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I so, saw... Uh, it says a lot about why I'm the way I am now. <laughs> yeah, I watched all that shit. I, you know, a lot, of, a lot of kids weren't allowed to play Mortal Kombat. Like, I that know. always got me. That always got struck me as strange. It's like, it's a video game. Yeah, but they're like ripping people's heads off. You know? I mean, but there's violence everywhere in the United States. But there, wa there was The news in shows video more violence. Before Mortal Kombat, video games were like, pop all the bubbles. Like yeah. that was what video games were. Yeah, it was like dig, eat dug, the mushrooms and, and save the yeah, princess. Yeah, it was like bubble bobble and like dig dug and shit like that. Like yeah, that was probably Mario. the first violent, truly. Violent I mean, it was game. violent as shit. Yeah. you know but that's what made so. it cool. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. So yeah. Meanwhile, now you could now you can not uh, on like Grand Theft Auto. You can rape a prostitute and then rob her and then kill her. Well, they, they've stepped they up are, the violence. Yeah, but they are coming back on that because. I think the, what now they make you pay them? No, the new one. I think they've like eliminated that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's so stupid. I know, dude. That, or that, maybe, maybe, maybe I think actually, if I remember right, there was like a streamer that had like they punched a a woman on the, the, um, the game on the game on YouTube and it got removed. It wasn't a real woman. Yeah, it's a non-player character. Still. <laughs> but still, yeah, dude. I've had this beef. Uh, cause remember like the metaverse was a big thing for a little while before everyone's mm -hmm. like, this is bullshit. Yeah. Uh, a woman had claimed she'd gotten sexually harassed, like her avatar oh, sexually harassed that. in the metaverse. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's like, well, it's not real life lady. It's yeah. not a crime to harass people in the metaverse. Yeah. Like, uh, what, that is also weird. It's like, okay, we can be in this like fake world. It's like r virtual reality. You can do whatever you want in there, but also there's laws. That's what I'm saying. It's Why bullshit. would you go to the metaverse if all the laws of real life apply? Yeah. It, it defeats the purpose of yeah, what's the point? Yeah. Of, what's the point? Like, oh, I get to live my same miserable life on the computer as opposed to, I, have to I don't get to fly and I have to work at Walgreens. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got to pay taxes in the metaverse. Like, what the yeah. fuck is this yeah. garbage? Like, <laughs> yeah. You buy a property in the yeah, metaverse and you have to pay for it, like in real life yeah, or whatever. The point of the metaverse is to do things you can't do in reality. Yeah, dude. You know, so you should be able to, like, you know, punch hookers and rob anything yes. you want, like, you know, fucking, you know, throw dogs off a cliff. Like, mm -hmm. and no one should be like, it's not a real dog. No one died. No one was harmed. Yeah, I agree 100%. Metaverse, <laughs> anything goes. Also, if you don't want to do that stuff, take the headset off.
Exactly. Well, that's the it's not too. like the Matrix where you unplug without shutting down yeah. properly, you die. Yep, yeah, exactly. Just turn it off. Exactly. And also, who's to say that the woman complaining had a female avatar? Mm. Like, you can be anything you want in the metaverse, right? Yeah. So she could have been like dressed as a dragon and someone sexually harassed a dragon. She's like, oh, you're sexually yeah. harassing a woman. It's like, no, I sexually harassed a fucking dragon. Well, and you know, like, the I don't know if dragons that, have rights. Also, maybe the guy that did it was also a, woman. a female yeah. dragon. <laughs> So it was a lesbian relationship. It was a lesbian thing? Yeah. Lesbian dragon scissoring? Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> See, that's what's cool about the metaverse. It could be anything. You can be a lesbian dragon who also works at Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that thing fell apart. Uh, it's fucking well, it's also like, look at the metaverse, and then you watch any footage of it, and it's like, cool, Super Nintendo graphics? Yeah, exactly, Hi. yeah. It's, it, looks, it looks like uh, like Star Fox from, from the <laughs> yeah. Nintendo 64. Like, Everything's blocky. Shit, dude. Yeah. The fuck out of here. You're looking at blurkled people. Ugh. It's like The Sims, but yeah. worse. <laughs> it's floppy as shit. <laughs> I got another story that also dovetails with you talking about having sex with your shrink. <laughs> Okay. Uh, a New York City hedge fund manager says his shrink seduced him into office sex sessions and charged him $250,000 in quote-unquote mistress money. Wow. Yeah, dude. A Union Square psychologist manipulated a hedge fund manager into believing he was trapped in his marriage and then seduced him in an explosive lawsuit that this guy filed. Uh, this, this took place over 10 years. Uh, the guy, 46, was having sex with his uh, therapist, who's 58. She was charging him $300 a session on top of Hit whatever the rate was that his insurance was paying. Wow. And it went on for 10 years, and now he's suing her for $250,000 to get that money back. So wow. it seems like, Jeff, if you have sex with a therapist, it doesn't actually work. Well, this seems like a malpractice situation. Yeah, on she the... also, she's 12 years old, and she's older, and she ain't that good looking. No. I'll show you the photo. She ain't, okay. She's not a looker. Well, yeah, and this is more of an insurance fraud thing. Yeah. You know? This yeah. is not a reasonable amount of money, Yeah, you know? I mean, also, the, if this guy has this much money to go see a therapist, why doesn't he get a high class hooker? Yeah, you know, well, it's like get he, that Elliot Spitzer hooker that was two thousand dollars a night. You know, well, get that fucking star. yeah. But he has to. It has to be a therapist, though. You know, oh like, yeah, it's a way to hide, the, to, to, yeah, hide it. to hide yeah. it. So, but there's got to be a there's got to be a hot, workaround. Hot therapist, dude. There's like, a business model, right? Yeah, they have make hoot, up like they a, have Hooters like and like a Twin Peaks like a, for like a bar with a Tinder big, that links you with hot. Therapists. Yeah. Maybe I'll start a or chain. hot fake therapist. Yeah. Maybe I'll start a chain of therap of like therapy practices. Find all the chicks down to fuck are hot your... chicks. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, say that again. A chain of like of therapy practices, mm -hmm. but all the therapists are hot chicks. So like a Hooters. Yeah, like or like a Twin Peaks. <laughs> but a therapy. Place. But therapy, but they're hot. Oh, dude, I love that. That 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 they has were legs. they were like short shorts and they're like Do you yeah, have, a little oh, pencil skirt and, and the extra cleavage. And then they out? come up, and no bra like, ever. Yeah, and they come up and they're like, so you don't like your parents? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should tell me this while you take your pants off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then they still serve hot wings. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your wife's a real bitch, huh? Tell me about it. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would rule. $250,000. I mean, the, the fucked up part is that he's suing her for this money. Uh, it makes him look like the biggest schmuck on planet Earth. I mean, obviously, yeah. he's a rich guy. He's a hedge fund manager. He had the money to pay her in the first place. Yeah. I think you just let this one go and don't put it in the paper that, no, you, but then that you were you having sex you, with Bette Midler. You can't, right? let this, <laughs> you can't let this lady have a win, dude. This yeah. is bullshit. Fuck that lady. That lady that's bullshit. <laughs> I'm joining in on the case. You can't let the lady hey, if have you need a win. fake lawyer, bro. I will represent you. You're the guy. You. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Fucking bananas, dude. Yeah, dude. See? <laughs> uh, here's, here's another good This one. is why, as a man, you should take your emotions and just stuff them down. down. Yeah. Well, I, I, I prefer drinking them away. That's a yeah. good way to do it. That's a good way to do it. Self medication. Yeah. Why not self medicate and save yourself the copayment of going to see your doctor? Yeah. Because he's just going to medicate you too. Yeah. You know? It's the same thing. Do you want to die of you know Prozac mm -hmm. or you know cocaine? Yeah, I think I'll have more fun dying of cocaine. Yeah, and Prozac's pretty fucking sad to die with a limp dick because it makes it not work. Part of being a man is eventually finding a woman and then dying ten years before her. Yeah, you know the joy of leaving her early. Yeah, because <laughs> but that's because of her constant it's weighing you down. Yeah. 
just grinding you yeah. down all the all taking all like you guys portions. buy a house together and then you are slowly pushed into the garage of the house there is nothing only... sadder than that to me yeah. jeff because like oh my wife let me have a man cave or they say that other cliche that i hate happy mm. wife happy life fuck you yeah you're gonna resent her so how's she gonna be happy about that yeah and also what about your happiness you, you're not allowed to be happy as a man you have to be miserable yeah no, that's, that's I mean, you don't have to be. That, you, that's, that's women, again, there's women manipulating men, convincing them. Mm -hmm. Like, that saying exists because women convince men that their happiness is more important than a man's. Yeah. When if they want to be equal, then my happiness is equal to yours. Yeah. We want to, you know, you want to, you can't have it both ways, ladies. Yeah, but it, it's, that's the problem we're at now. Because there's no balance. It's true. Women are like, we need more. And there's, they're making too many demands. <laughs> they're like, the the dating scenario it's like a hostage situation and we're like you're just gonna have to kill all the hostages <laughs> like it's this is what are you crazy we can't give you we don't all, negotiate all of that everyone you want all of that yeah. are you serious <laughs> i guess you're gonna have to start knocking off hostages <laughs> Dude, it's so funny because the next article dovetails nicely into what we were just talking about. Right. Research, research suggests men spend seven hours a year hiding in the bathroom for peace and quiet. Just uh, seven hours? Seven hours a year. Uh, to, to, on oh, top of uh, their all. Not uh, a week. Uh, yeah, exactly. On top of their <laughs> bathroom use. Uh, okay. It says a third of British men admit to hiding in their bathrooms to get some peace and quiet. <laughs> Researchers polled over a thousand men they've, and they found they spend a total of seven hours a year in the bathroom just to get a minute of quiet. That's, so they're not even going, well, also, they're not even going there to shit and, and the, the extended shit. They're yeah. just hiding in the bathroom. Here's the other thing, too. That number is deflated from what it actually is also. Yeah, because the men are lying about how much time they're spending That's there. true. And the, that probably also includes single men who probably don't do it as often as men with a mm -hmm. wife and kids who the, need more peace and quiet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Seven hours a year. I mean, like... I, it's tough. That's why, that's why guys pick up much, golf. Guys pick up golf because they spend five hours away from their wives on a Sunday. Yeah. You know, like if, if they pick up, pick up basketball, they'll be back in 45 minutes. Like, Jeez. no, 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 no. This has to be a half day event. Men used to, men used to have their own spaces and say women can't come into these spaces. That's what, and it, it was, it was good. And women had those too. And that was good. Yeah. Everybody had their the separate. Kitchen and the kitchen in the golf club. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. They had their separate spaces, but now it's like, we're too close. So it's like. You can't get a break. There's no break. Yeah. You know? It's also and it, weird, though, that women can still have their own spaces, but men can't. Yeah. And also, well, why do women want to go to places where it's only for men? Like, do you want to be in a Russian bathhouse with other dudes? I don't think so. Like, it's not appealing to me as a man. I think here's what happens. Men have fun. Women don't know how to have fun. Well, they don't like seeing men have fun. No, they hate. I guarantee you no, that. No, but, but you see what I'm saying? It's like w women try to have fun, but it, it's not. It's not, you yeah. Know? Like, they go to brunch, and then they're getting a fight. Yeah, they're talking like, shit about you, each other. Have you ever talked to a chick after she went to brunch? She's oh, just complaining she's about dumping the Dumping about she all just, her friends, yeah. She's just shitting on all of her friends she just hung out with. Yeah, frenemies right? exist only amongst it's women. Literally, Men don't have frenemies. They have they're just fighting each other, yeah. right? So, like, you, like when I when she'll come back from a thing, she'll be like, I'll be like, how was it? And she'll be like, well, fucking Susan did this shit. <laughs> and then they're just... I'm like, did you have fun? She'll be like, yeah, it was, a, it was cool, I guess. It was cool, I guess. I'm like, was it? You're like in a worse mood than you were when you left. <laughs> Doesn't but seem then, like it, babe. I go hang out with my dude friends, and then you come back, and then you're, you're all amped up, and she's well, pissed you had a good time. Well, then your girl's like, how's your friend? And I'm like, I don't know, you know? <laughs> what did you guys talk about? I'm Nothing, like, dude. We I, drank. I, I watched sports. Yeah. I don't know. Like, how's his kids? I don't know. I think he's got four now. <laughs> So like I don't really like we don't talk about anything, but we do talk. It's just not about anything. Yeah, it's, it's it's all about sports. It's, yeah, it's and fun like, times. Yeah, you yeah, know? nothing nothing serious gets discussed. Yeah, we're not we're not like you know solving the fucking you know the 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 Middle East crisis. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just talking shit. Yeah, so women go out, they try to they pretend to have fun, and then get in fights and all that stuff, and then. You know, but they see guys having fun. They, they go, don't like Oh, that. you're having fun. I want to be included in the fun. They get FOMO of the fun. Yeah, the jealousy of it. Yeah, but then they go and it fucks up There's the no dynamic. Fun. Yeah. The fun's over, and then it <laughs> nobody. It's wins. a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. So it's like everybody needs their own space, and it's good. And then you know. Yeah, that's why I like hanging out with lesbian chicks, dude. Yeah, they're fun. No pressure. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're, I mean, they're like dudes with vaginas. Yeah. You know. They like yeah. the same things I like. Yeah. Sports, chicks. Yeah. I mean, what yeah. the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, we have a lot in common, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and pussy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> just hanging out at the batting cage. Yeah, dude, just kicking exactly, it. Lesbo man. bros. Kicking it, dude. Yeah. That's actually a term, lesbro. Lesbo. I'm, I was considered a lesbro in Boston because if you're like if you're a lesbian ally and you're a man, yeah. they would call you a lesbro. Okay. Oh, one of my one of my roommates' friends called me a lesbro. I'm like, I'm taking that. Nice. I yeah. like that. So I'm a lesbro. Yeah, I feel like lesbians are like really unhappy though. They're unhappy because they date women. That's what they're unhappy about. Yeah, that's what I'm the saying. Rest yeah, of their too life many fine. women in the relationship. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's like the balance. Too many women. You know? Yeah. Like one girl, one guy. The girl's always mad. So it's like. You yeah. Know. The guy says he's sorry. Yeah. Two so girls who have a vendetta against each other. They're, they're, they're just they're never going to solve yeah. the problem. And then no one's having sex. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're both, they're, they're both usually what whole children each other. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really. You don't really follow the lesbian community as time as I do. Not as much, yeah. I mean, (laughs) not as much, but I will now. I know know some, but I don't know. (laughs) I don't really hang out that much with. I mean, they're, you know, when do you hang out with lesbians? Well, I used to live with two of them. Oh, okay. So I used to hang out all the time. Oh, okay. Obviously, less so. What was the relationship dynamic like? Uh, That was the funniest part to me. So they would, like, they would get into an argument, right? And I was, and they were, I was living with two lesbians. Yeah. And they would, uh, both would individually come to complain to me about the other and like look for advice. And I'm like, yeah. you guys understand that I'm not a woman. I'm a single man. Yeah. You guys are women. Don't you guys know what women want? What the fuck are you asking me no, for? They I, don't. I was like 34 and single. I'm like the biggest fuck up on earth. Like obviously I don't know how to keep a woman. Yeah. You know, but somehow they were coming to me for relationship advice. I'm like, do you understand you're asking the exact worst person for the I just say yeah. dump them. <laughs> yeah. My answer is if you're unhappy, get rid of them. Yeah. You know, don't even don't give it a second thought. Yeah. You know. Did you encourage them to have a threesome with you as a... No, never. Oh, never. Well, never. I was, I, 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 had, I mean, they were both good-looking gals, too. Yeah. But uh, I was paying... I wasn't on the lease. Uh, so I was, uh, you know, subletting from them, and I didn't want to fuck up the cushy situation sure, I had. Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, roommate but they would make moves. they would make moves on girls I brought home all the time. Really? All the time. Wow. Yeah, dude. That's wild. Yeah, they proposition them, like, to get a third chick. I'm like, what the fuck? I was wow. like, oh. and it's, you know, one time, my, my girlfriend uh, at the time, she was my girlfriend at the time, I just started comedy, and she'd come over to visit me for the first time in Boston. She was living in New York, and, you know, they, they made a pass at her at the bar, and she's like, what do I do? I was like, well, if you want to go back with them, I got to film it. Yeah. <laughs> that was my only stipulation. It's like, you can do whatever you want with the two of them, but I'm filming it. Nice. She's like, I don't want either of them. I'm like, all right, well, then fuck. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. You know, it's gonna be like a fucking, uh, like <laughs> a fucking Steven Spielberg in their bedroom, yeah. you know, like, just throwing sex toys at him. Like, oh, use this yeah. one now. Yeah. Do a three way scissor. Is that even possible? I don't know. Let's, yeah. <laughs> let's <laughs> find out. Yeah. How would a three way scissor work? You got this. Um, it's like a ninja star. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's like a ninja yeah. stuff. It's like one of those things in school you used to do, like, you know. Oh, yeah, the little paper things. <laughs> yeah, I forgot yeah. what those are called. All right. I forget. Here's the last one. Uh, people are getting disabled by choice and calling themselves transabled. Oh, yeah, I've heard about this. Uh, disability was never a choice for people uh, who've lived with it their entire lives. However, transabled people feel, cert- feel that certain body parts of theirs aren't functioning or their bodies do not belong to themselves, and they tend to arrange accidents in, tor- in order to disable themselves. Transabled. What kind of accidents are these people? I mean, if they're for arranging? fucking real, they should put their legs across a train track. Yeah. You know, I mean, like these these fucking idiots. Let's get serious. That's crazy, dude. You know. Yeah. That's why would you? Why also would you want to be disabled? I'm pretty um, sure. I'm sure. Pretty sure disabled people would rather not be if they had the choice. No, for sure. I feel like the disabled community is very furious with these. Posers. As they should be. These are like disabled posers. Yes. These are like the Rachel Dolezals. Yes, of exactly right. The disabled community. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So, yeah, that's wild. Um, you know, and it's also like, look, if all these people start doing it, all the parking spaces in front of a store are going to be fill up. filled. Yeah. Then you're going to uh, lose all the privileges of being disabled. Not yeah. to say being disabled is a privilege. Yeah. But like the front there parking, are some perks. The front parking space. But that's why. Yeah. That's probably why these people. Want oh, you that think it's an end around to try well, to And it. also, this is like a uh, like victim culture. At that is a the good peak point. of vic- victim culture. So that I think like, that's probably what's driving it. The idea that if yeah. they're disabled, they'll be the, the biggest victim I, in the room, so they'll get the most sympathy. I guarantee you, these people are. There's other things that they're also claiming victimhood for. Oh, for sure. Yeah. They, I don't yeah. think you start out as transabled. Did you? Did you? Yeah, for sure. You, know, did, like you, <laughs> you just start out as a whiny little bitch and work your way up to it. Yeah. There's, there's other stuff they've been complaining about before this. Yeah, before they want to cut off their arms and legs. There was, uh, there was this thing on Vice. I don't know if you saw that. On, um, 
YouTube, Vice has these like ridiculous panels where they bring like a bunch no, of people. but I want to see this. Dude, the feminist one was... Just gold? Bonkers, Internet gold? Dude. I mean, they're just like yelling at each other the whole time. No one's getting to finish what they're saying. Uh, they had like... You know, good had, public discourse. So they had like... And, and they, you know, they do exactly what like a woke thing would do. They they cast it like a fucking bag of Skittles. You're uh, like, you're this color. You're in a wheelchair. I have such you're a problem gay. with that. Uh, even yeah. in commercials, dude. Like you'll see like a black guy, a white woman, and an Asian baby. I'm and like, that's like they a, fucking steal that kid? Yeah. Like where'd they get that kid? It's like that's a family. Yeah. It's like, yeah. In what world? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's bizarre to me that they need to shoehorn that in there. Like, yeah. So it's so, so it's so obvious that it's like condescending and insulting. Yeah. Like you could have a biracial family and not make it fucking obvious like that. Like we're, yeah. we're, that's not. It is kids. pretty clear that yeah. they're, what they're yeah, doing. It's like you can see through the, yeah. the casting of it, and that's what makes it bad. Exactly. Yeah, that's why I like roll my eyes at it. But uh, that thing they had. Uh, one of the people there was a lady in a wheelchair, and she said, "As a person in a wheelchair, like when nine start thousand out times." Yeah. So like through the this like discussion, every time she got in an argument with somebody, it was. Well, as a person that is disabled, I, you know, it's like, okay, we all know you're in a wheelchair, lady. Like, yeah, I forgot that. They have like a term for that. Like, uh, it's like able bodied or ableist. Ableist mm -hmm. is the word. Like, oh, yeah, very yeah. ableist. No, she of, said that. Many very times. ableist of you. I'm like, well, then every set of stairs is ableist. Yeah. You know, then every fire escape, remove all fire escapes from buildings yeah. so people have to die because they have legs. She made, like, wait, what the fuck? She did make points like that. It's that, ridiculous. Like, there's places I can't go. And it's like, yeah, okay, up a curb. There's places I can't go. You know? <laughs> like, yeah. Sure, you can't you know, go up a curb or like <laughs> the first few steps at a old place. No, but they, I mean, they may, look, uh, we thank God we've made a lot of accommodations for people with disabilities. I mean, as we, as you should, like if you can, if you can work, but you need a wheelchair to get into work, yeah. put a ramp. It makes sense. Sure. But the idea that like, oh, you know, there should be no stairs. It should all be ramps. But here's it's the like, thing. what the fuck? Like, who's yeah. going to pay for all that? Fucking Tony Hawk, dude. That's who's paying for the ramps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Skateboarders and disabled people. Woo! Love that There's idea. 720 off the top of this <laughs> ramp. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, yeah, but the thing is that lady, she kept like weaponizing her victimhood yeah. for other people. So not to criticize people who are disabled or whatever, but when you're like kind of being a bitch about it, then well, that's the thing. Just because you're disabled or because you're black or like gay or a woman it to like doesn't give you the right to person. be rude to other people. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you see that all the time with like gay dudes who like the way they'll talk to women. I've had this mm -hmm. conversation with gay guys on the podcast before. Eric Rocha was here. Uh, it was on this week's episode. This is in two weeks anyway. Oh yeah. Uh, he, he was like, yeah, you know, like gay guys will say horrible things to women. Like, oh look at that fat heifer. Yeah. And I'm like, just because he's gay, he doesn't get to be an asshole. He's a fucking jerk. Yeah. You shouldn't say that to somebody. Yeah. Like, just because you're disabled doesn't mean you can insult other people. Yeah, but it's, it's, not, it's not a free pass to That's be part jerk. of the privilege of gay sass, you know? <laughs> no, but that's the thing. Like, being kind it crosses all that bullshit. Like, just yeah. because you're black or white or a woman or this or that doesn't give you the right to fucking be mean and dismissive to other people. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like yeah. oh, you know, just because you got this. Yeah, okay, but that that is a kind of mean that is no longer existing. Like, that's being, like, pushed out. Everybody's saying, that's bullying, that's bad, don't do that anymore. So the person that's like, you're fat, you're stupid, or whatever, like, that person, like, gone, yeah. right? Now what you're seeing is, like, people bullying people with this, like, weaponized empathy. That's oh, what, yeah, the, fake, that's the what fake empathy. So they'll, like, they'll try to make you feel bad by claiming victimhood. Yes. And they'll be like, um, you're actually a piece of shit because I have a issue that you're not yeah. addressing. Oh, no, my, my favorite my favorite is when they, they may try and make you feel guilty about an issue that they're not even dealing with. You see this a lot with well-to-do, oh, like, yeah. well college-educated yeah. white women. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, they'll defend, you know, like a... Like a, a uh, you know, African American issue, or black issue, and you know, some community issue. It's like you, you can't be more upset than the victim here, lady. Yeah. Like you're, like you, you're not black. Mm -hmm. The fuck you speaking for the black community? You're talking at a turn over there. Yeah. You know, like uh, they don't need you with your fucking green mohawk limping and helping them out. Yeah. You know, what are their attorney? Fuck off. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying, like it's ridiculous, dude. To be more upset than the victim is the is the is the biggest bunch of bullshit. That is funny to be upset on behalf of a group. Yeah. Like uh, Sean King. Oh. See that guy. <laughs> Dude, he he's killing it. 
<laughs> he's so pissed for black people and definitely not giving any of the victims money that no, he's raising. No, of course not. <laughs> he's like, Why would he do that? He's that would... raised like a billion dollars. Dude, you see that with- It's you, all him. You see that with homelessness. Everyone's over here talking about how you shouldn't be this about the homeless, you shouldn't be that about a homeless person, you shouldn't talk about them this way, you shouldn't want to get them off the street because they, they should have the right to live on the street, which is, mm -hmm. I, I would think homeless people want to be in a fucking indoor dwelling, but that's, you know. but yeah. you'll see that a lot like, People complaining about like people complaining about you complaining about the homeless problem, uh, or giving you a hard time because you're complaining about the homeless problem. And it's like, wait a minute, you have two spare bedrooms. Are they, are they full of homeless people? No. no then yeah. shut the fuck up. Like yeah. once you start helping out, then, yeah. then you could then you could you know turn your finger towards me. I don't see you at the soup kitchen every Saturday. I see you at EPL be getting high with your fucking friends in the bathroom. Yeah. You lying bitch. Like what, what are you talking about? Yeah, it is. That is annoying, dude. Yeah. Here, here's what they gotta do, dude. They put on a bill recently in California, the gambling stuff. Did you remember that? Uh, I saw they had a gambling bill. What was the, what was the bill? That it, was, it didn't pass. You know, like, you know how you can't, like, bet on oh, sports. Oh, online betting, yeah, stuff? sports betting online. No sports betting, none of that stuff. That's bullshit, okay? Also, homelessness is a problem. Allow us to bring back bum fights, dude. <laughs> we got to bring it back, Okay. It's content too. It's content. It's not fights. These Bum people content. will get to be stars. They will pull YouTube themselves stars. out of homelessness by fighting each other. Yeah, look at Jake Paul. And, and they're it, all going to consent to it. It's all with their own it. consent. It's not you know. Yeah, and you have to look, and you, and they'll will drug test to make sure that they're sound mind and body. That they're totally on all the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to be not even aware where they are. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to think it's 1972. <laughs> I, I, dude, that was a moment where bump fights was the hottest thing on the internet. Dude, I know. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what happened to the guy who started that. He's in jail. Uh, probably. Yeah, he, <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, him along, along with the guys who did the Girls Gone Wild. But he can't okay. girls at spring break to show their hooters. Okay, hooters. but he did it wrong, okay? He's not doing it above board. Yeah. And also, he was doing it like bump fights. It was like, we're filming it on a cell Yeah, here's phone. five bucks. Here's like a, a chicken wing or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Kill that guy. Yeah, you give him a percentage. That's, that's right, You bad. guys get 20% of the YouTube You get a clip. whole bucket of chicken, okay? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and we'll give you a cell phone so you can film it. <laughs> yeah, so you can film your life afterwards. Yeah, and you get a little selfie stick to hold it up, you know, because you, a whole you know, a chicken. Yeah, we'll give you a tent. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Yeah, the winner gets a new double wide Coleman or whatever. <laughs> a double wide Coleman. Yeah, or whatever. whatever they make them double wides like that. Know. All right, that's all I got, dude. What do you got coming up, brother? We um, did it. We filled yeah. over an hour. Uh, check me out on my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, Jeff Zinisek. Uh, and also check out my podcast, Two Woke Boys, on uh, YouTube. TikTok, I, I cannot Instagram. recommend it enough. And even for women, because you, you know you were joking. There are girls that no, like you it. You it's were joking just, that it mostly men follow the cat, but it's no, it a is a lot of women. <laughs> I know it. I know it is. Following it, but it's very funny. I mean, like you know, even uh, even a liberal chick will find it funny. Because uh, there, there, what there you are, guys are doing, yeah. It, you're not it's at for all everybody. Insulting. It's not okay. at all. It's not all at, at all insulting. No, and it's like it, it's we're poking fun at men who are pretending like our characters are basically men who are pretending to be feminists to get chicks. That's yeah, exactly. That's kind of yeah. like, and I'm sure you've met a guy yeah. like that. So all those guys you know, at the women's march. And it, yeah, and <laughs> it didn't have a daughter. Yeah, and, and single man that went to the women's march because mm -hmm. he was out there trying to pick up girls. Yeah, I mean, that, let's just be honest. Look, I brought my guitar and I was singing songs <laughs> to the women, acoustic out. Yeah, and I was anti slut yeah. shaming. Yeah, you brought your crystals. Yeah. Like, I, you have good. Yeah. energy yeah dude yeah it was all you, about put a, that. you put your hair in the man bun to really oh, close it out yeah dude <laughs> yeah no. yeah so we support all those women's causes and then we're very anti-slut shaming so if you're a slut hit us up <laughs> <laughs> all right guys that's it for this one thanks for tuning in follow the podcast at ready set blow subscribe on youtube like i said follow me at randy valera on all platforms we love you guys check you next week peace